guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It means the absolute world to me. I'm sure you've seen from the thumbnail what this is, but please stick around if you want to know what the general gist of Primark Beauty is like and what I thought of it, my first impressions, all the products I could buy. Please stick around and watch. If you enjoy, please hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for new content every week. But I'm just going to let you get straight into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. So this is the Primark bag. Quite small, but obviously it's only makeup. I literally got everything I could get to do a full, <laughs> to do a full face. So I'm just going to show you what I picked up quickly before I get into the makeup tutorial try on first impressions the first thing i got is the ps essentials makeup brush set for six point and it's suitable for vegans i'm actually going to open these up now and feel see what they feel like so for six point you get a little angle brush for obviously your eyebrows a flat brush for some eyeshadow a bit of a blending brush a quite fluffy brush for eyeshadow and then i would call this a stippling brush for foundation and i suppose i could do my contour of that and i don't know what i'll be doing with this but they're like a goldy color they're actually quite nice they feel quite good like i pull them and none pull out what's quite good so hopefully they won't leave any um on my skin but yeah that was six pounds you can't really go wrong can you and then i've got the matte lipstick kit and it's like a nudie color i believe and it's not you're not gonna be able to see it but i've just opened it because obviously the ring light would like come on to it but it's just this lip liner as you can see and this lipstick the packaging is actually really nice and it does look like a really nice color like i really hope it lasts long because it does look really nice and obviously that was a very very cheap and then i got some fake eyelashes just the flatter ones i honestly have no idea what these will be like I'm not really sure. They were one point. They come with glue. We'll give them a go. I've never used Primark lashes ever. Like, I know people used to use them when they were younger. But I've never used a pair of eyelash, um, Primark eyelashes. But we'll give them a go. They've got to be good or they wouldn't sell them, you'd think. And then I got the Bry Emergency Kit. It comes with a Bry Pencil, Bry Gel, Spoolie and a Tweezer. I got the light brown. It was probably the wrong shade. But... The dark brown looks really, really, I don't know, it just looks a bit black. I'm not sure. This is definitely the wrong shade for me. I think I've messed up here. But we'll we'll give it a go. Let's have a look. Oh, it might be okay. I might just get away with it. But it comes with the brow, pencil, some eyebrow gel. But to be fair, can't really go wrong with eyebrow gel, can you? I love that side. A spoolie, what's quite interesting. To be fair, it's just a little cheap one, what you get before, when you get your eyelashes done. And some tweezers, can't go wrong. I would have paid £2.50 for a pair of tweezers, to be fair. So, if all else feels, at least I've got a decent pair of tweezers. I've just got four blending sponges. You get, as you can... I've put them out of the packaging. It's really annoying plastic packaging. So, you get this tiny one, what I suppose is for concealer. And then like these and then like these two medium sized one and your average blender i've used these before and i'm not really a fan i feel like they kind of soak up the makeup if i'm honest but this is the only thing in the range of like primark makeup i've ever used but we'll give it a go it might work it might be okay the wonder lashes longer looking into fine lashes this reminds me of some benefit lashes like the packaging with the thing at the side with the images this was obviously probably a third of the price this was for a third more than a third probably like a tenth of the price but we'll give it a go see what the applicator's like oh, it's a very as you can see I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not sure. But we'll give it a go. It looks okay. The picture looks amazing, but obviously it probably doesn't actually work like that. Then I've got a colour grid eyeshadow palette in here. And I love the colours in this. Again, I will open this up for you. Now, I think these are really, really nice. As you can see. The focus is for you. 
but I think they are really nice. I love the colours. I think it's a good transition. Like you've got some shimmers, mattes, and then some like in between ones. We'll give that a go. Hopefully they're pigmented, but it was three pound fifty, so I'm not holding my breath. And then I have no idea if I got the right shade because obviously there's no testers or anything due to coronavirus. But I got the PS my perfect color matte foundation natural medium coverage matte finish oil free i got mine in ivory o2 and this was a free point so i'm hoping that will be okay i don't think it will it's the plastic packaging it is a pump what's brilliant i'm hoping it's the right color and then i got the medium coverage concealer and i got this in porcelain because i like it to be a bit lighter this was two points so I mean, if these products are good, it will be amazing, but I'm just not really holding my breath out that they're going to be good. Do you know what I mean? And I prefer thick applicators, and this one is very thin, but we'll, we'll give it a go. It might be good. I'm glad I got the um, colours a bit right. And I got this gold lustre highlight powder. This was three point. It looks really nice. Everything's got packaging on it. What I mean is good, because it means... You can tell they've not been used before. So this is the highlighter. I think this looks lovely. I don't think it's going to focus. But that is the highlighter. And I absolutely love these shades. And I've got the Simfil Bronze Glow. Glow. I have no idea what this is going to be like. I think this is going to be far too dark. But the one thing I couldn't find was contour. So this is this is what we're rolling for at the minute and I'm not too sure. It does not look dark on camera at all, but in real life it's very dark. It's a bit shimmery as well, but I'm not a fan of, but we'll have to give it a go because it was the only thing I could find. But that is everything I purchased for this makeup look, first impressions. So I'm just gonna get straight into the makeup look because right now I am not looking the best. At Primark, there was obviously no primer, but I am just going to use a moisturiser. It's the Sukin Signature Facial Moisturiser. I use this every day, and I actually put it on before I normally put my primer on, but I'm not going to put a primer on because I do want to see how well the products work on their own. So I'm just going to put this moisturiser on. And then I have dampened that big beauty blender in it feels all right it's expanded what's quite good hopefully it doesn't soak up the product and i'm gonna go ahead and use the foundation so i'm just gonna pour it straight onto my skin i believe i'm just gonna put how much of my normal one i would put on because i have no idea what this is gonna be like And then I'm going to blend it in. Wow, this is really light. I suppose this is probably my actual colour. But I do prefer my foundation to be a little bit darker. I do find that the Beauty Blender is swooping up the product. Like it's disappearing the more I blend. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And go ahead with concealer. No. I'm going to go ahead with brows next I think. And then put concealer on after. Like it's not too bad. But you can see like here it's going off. And it's very light. I'm, mm, it's not that bad. Let me look here. It is not that bad. I can't decide if it's the beauty blender soaking the product up or the product's just disappearing. Like, if you get what I mean. But it's not too bad. Like, it's okay for a free point. So I'm going to go ahead and use the brow product. So I'm going to firstly get the spoolie out. And it is literally just one of them cheap ones you get when you do your eyelashes. And I'm going to brush them out. I have not used pencil for a while, so this could be a bit of an issue. But I, the only thing I could see was pencil. So here we are now. That's not too bad. 
I'm quite impressed with that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other one and try and make them identical. too bad but i think they're the best i'm gonna get it the only thing is it goes blunt very very quickly like i get why the sharpeners were next to it but it's not too bad i am gonna use the bride gel as well i hope this isn't wet that is the one thing i hope it isn't wet well, there's like nothing on there nothing really goes on the brush Like it definitely isn't wet, but you definitely have to like put it in and swiggle it around to get anything on there. They're not too bad. I think they could have been a lot worse. Like they could have been a hell of a lot worse. So I'm not, I'm not too mad. So I'm going to go in with the BB Beauty Blender and the concealer next. Again, nothing's really coming out like is there any product even in there mm, i'm i'm gonna blend that right away because i have a feeling that is gonna dry up really quickly mm, it just disappears genuinely it just disappears it's just gone there's nothing there on to the other side it's because nothing's coming out like, where is everything it is genuinely nothing's coming out and it's just wiping the tiny bit of foundation what was underneath. But I like a thick, thick consistency. And actually nothing is coming out at all. And it's just disappeared again, like right? it just disappeared. Like it's just disappearing. So I am gonna move on to eyeshadow and then shape my eyebrows just because I need to use the same flat brush. And for I am eyeshadow, I think I might go in first of all with the matte colour here, this one here, just with the fluffy brush. Let's see how it goes. So there's a lot, it's definitely pigmented and there's a lot of, there is a lot of fallout though. It doesn't really blend that well. Like, I know my artist skills aren't that great, but come on. Give me a root now. No, there's like nothing really there. It's just falling underneath my eyes. And the more I blend, the more it disappears. I know my artist skills aren't great, but come on. They're definitely better than this. See what I mean? There's loads of fallout. We'll move on to the darker matte colour and I put that in the crease probably gonna be a big mistake and i was correct like it is pigmented but when it blends it just disappears okay no it doesn't blend okay we may have to give up it's uh, this brush is terrible it's very very flimsy like, very flimsy How much I'm blending, like you should not. Have... It's not even nice. I'm just gonna go with the straight color and use the first matte color. Completely no. And then we're gonna go for this beautiful metallic color. Oh, my headband's coming off. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that metallic color and see. So I've had to go into it quite a bit to even get it on the brush. It doesn't blend. It just goes everywhere. That is that is the worst makeup look I've ever done. And come on, I'm not that bad. It's because this makeup brush is so flimsy. Like it's literally terrible. It just won't blend out, guys. I'm sorry. I am gonna do the line like I always do to see what it looks like. 
so I definitely need to clean that up. I can feel it itch in my skin. The fall light is terrible. Yeah, I can feel it like hurt on my skin. Obviously, this is no disrespect to Primark, but it is really cheap. So I suppose if you're desperate, and then I'm gonna go in with the beauty blender and blend. It's a pity it doesn't take away the eyeshadow. But it just takes away the concealer. Like, I would not go out with this eye look. It just will not blend. Did I have a squint mom? I really hope this works out well. Like, I need to go to Blue Water to pick some things up for work. But I hope this goes out well. I will not be going like this. So that is the finished makeup look. <laughs> I'm joking. That is horrendous. I'm appalled at my efforts. I don't know if it's my efforts. But let me just zoom in. It is unblendable. Like, that there will just not blend. The eyebrows aren't too bad. The eyeshadows will not blend. I don't know what you want me to do. But it won't blend. But we're gonna go in with we're gonna go in with mascara and I. The Wonder Lashes, what looks a bit like the benefit they're real. I hope it's like it, but I'm holding my breath. I already don't really like the applicator. It's a bit like I don't know, it's very small and straight. Okay, it's very wet, it's going everywhere. Okay, you've seen how much I put on. I will have to zoom you in in a minute. But it's just clamped my eyelashes together. Well, is it my look, personally? No, I'm not a fan. I hope you guys can see, but they've just like clamped my eyelashes together. They don't actually look too bad. I just... No, they don't look too bad, but honestly, in real life, like, look atrocious, really. Like, I, if I was desperate, if I was desperate, maybe I would use it, but it's very wet. It's kind of hard to apply. As you can see, i got some underneath. I'm just not impressed. I will do the bottom lashes, but I feel like it's just going to go everywhere. It's, so, it's such a wet consistency. See what I mean? Like that is literally one little, and it's like clump them ones together. I'm not a fan. We're gonna go with the bronze gold glow. I could only find the color spinfill. I don't know if they do other ones. And I'm just gonna use this brush and go ahead. It looks very orange on the brush. I'm just questioning what I'm doing right now. Okay. I promise you, I'm trying to take this seriously, but that was unlucky. So I just put, I've done two dabs of it and it just comes out like that. No. I genuinely look like a clown. I'm so disappointed with Primark. All the brushes are just really flimsy, so I can't blend that out. I promise, I'm trying my this no that's not blend tonight so the bronzer was a no basically this is like the only brush i have left really so i'm just gonna go ahead and use this one for my highlighter you can't really go wrong with highlighter unless you can see it oh i spoke too soon it went everywhere it went all into my eyeshadow but you can't see it but you can't really see it, like it's just like, I don't know, no, like I, you, I can see it going everywhere. I'm not a fan. I think I'm going to go in with lips and then do my eye, and then do the eyelashes, because I need these eyelashes to dry and they're still very wet. I am terrible at lip liner, I can't do it, but I will give it a go for you guys. So I've got like this colour here. I'm hoping it'll be nice. The first thing I've noticed is very hard to, like, you kind of have to drag it. It's not very soft like the Urban Decay ones. What makes it kind of hard to line your lips. I 
like it. I really like that lip colour. Whether or not it stays on, I don't know. But it's matte. It's very nice. I really like the colour. It went on quite easy. I would probably use this again. I would use this again, actually. Yeah, I'm happy with that lip colour. Alright, I'm going to breathe the eyelashes. I'm going to do it. i got the flutter ones. I have no idea what these are going to look like. It's quite good. It's a point. You get some glue with it as well. It's not bad. And they don't look really long. Like, normally I have to cut my eyelashes. Don't. But I think I could get away with these ones. Like, there's an app here as well. That's okay. Well, it's not gone too bad. Like, I look like cotton. It doesn't even look that bad in the camera, I don't feel like. But in real life, terrible. Just need to get the eyelashes sticky. They're not too bad, but the glue's horrendous. Now that is your eyelashes I'd probably wear if I had nothing if I had nothing else. But the glue is not the greatest, but it did come free. So I suppose if you were desperate for eyelash glue, it's not that bad. It's like blue, it's quite odd actually. Yeah, the eyelashes aren't actually too bad. I would choose the eyelashes over the mascara. I think that's that dying. The eyelash glue is not very good, I'm not gonna lie, but it was a point. I don't mind the eyelashes, like I would definitely wear them. Like, I'll probably keep them and wear them. So this is the final look. I am gonna zoom you in a bit more. As you can see, it looks like I've got no foundation on. My um eyeshadow will not blend anymore. I'm not a fan. The eyelashes are okay. The eyelash glue, no. The skin makeup, you just well, the powder literally just went horrendous. As you guys can see, the highlighter just went everywhere, if I'm honest. I'm not very impressed. That eyebrows aren't too bad. They are a bit light for me, but that's my own fault. I will probably not use it again, but I don't think I would have even used it if it was my colour. The eyelashes, I will definitely keep and reuse. They're not that bad, obviously, with my own glue. The lipstick, I will reuse. The concealer and foundation, I'm powder and everything no i look like klein i will definitely not be going out in this makeup <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it obviously the makeup is atrocious and i will sadly not be going out in this but i really hope you enjoyed watching it i hope you don't waste your money on some of the primark beauty i wasted my own money on but all in all it was it was okay there were some products i'll use again just not the face makeup there's probably no products well i told you the products i would reuse but i really hope you enjoyed it and please comment down below what other content you'd like to see if you've enjoyed the makeup week i've done this week i didn't do it intentionally i just had two video ideas come up at once but i really hope you enjoyed it and please hit that subscribe button down below if you did and i will see you guys on monday for a brand new video bye